Not every MS patient deals with every symptom. This is just my experience. These next symptoms I want to talk to you about can be, in reality, some of the scariest ones I deal with. They are the kind of symptoms that sneak up on you and get you when you least expect it. Both swallowing difficulties and problems breathing are symptoms of MS that can affect your physical comfort as well as your quality of life. This is how I have managed these symptoms in my life. there. Welcome back to MS 24-7-365. It's great to see you again. As I like to do, let's see what the National Multiple Sclerosis Society has to say about breathing and swallowing difficulties in MS patients. Swallowing. Dysphagia, or difficulty in swallowing, can occur among people with MS. While more frequent in advanced disease, it can occur at any stage. The person may cough after drinking liquids or choke while eating certain foods, particularly those with crumbly textures. When this kind of coughing or choking occurs, the food or liquids are inhaled into the trachea instead of going down the esophagus and into the stomach. Once in the lungs, the inhaled food or liquids can cause pneumonia or abscesses. Because the food or drink is not reaching the stomach, a person may also be at risk for malnutrition or dehydration. A person can also inhale small amounts of food or liquids without being aware of it. This is called silent aspiration. Breathing. Respiration, or breathing, is primarily under the control of the autonomic or automatic nervous system. The part of the central nervous system that controls vital functions such as heartbeat and respiration without conscious thought. It is unusual for MS to affect the autonomic nervous system and therefore uncommon for breathing problems to occur in MS as a re direct result of loss of autonomic control. If breathing problems occur suddenly, it is imperative to see a healthcare provider immediately or go to the emergency room since this may indicate infection or some other problem. In MS, the most common cause of respiratory problems is loss of muscle strength and endurance. Just as a person can experience muscle weakness in the arms or legs, weakness can occur in the ventilatory muscles of the chest and abdomen that are involved in breathing. And, like weakness in the other parts of the body, weakness of the ventilatory muscles can begin to occur early in the disease course and gradually worsen over time. People with work weakened ventilatory muscles have to work harder to inhale and exhale. This extra effort can be quite tiring, particularly for people who already experience a significant amount of MS fatigue. Respiratory problems can also interfere with the process of speech and voice production, making it much more difficult and tiring for people to carry on a conversation or speak loudly enough to be heard. These are a couple of the least common symptoms of MS. Now, that being said, least common does not mean less important, especially if you happen to experience them. Um, swallowing and breathing are both parts of the autonomic nervous system and you know they're just supposed to happen automatically and MS doesn't usually affect the autonomic part of the nervous system and so that's why they're referred to as less common. Um, I think I'm just gonna try and tell a couple, share a couple of stories of how these have affected me my first experience having difficulty swallowing happened probably within the first year after my diagnosis. Whatever signal that tells your when your mouth gets full of saliva that tells it to swallow it, clear your mouth. Sometimes it doesn't happen with me. <laughs> my mouth will fill up and as a result I can start to drool. 
a very attractive picture, I know. Um, and it's not the least bit embarrassing to have to carry a washcloth around to, you know, wipe your mouth because you, your swallower can't remember to swallow. Yeah, I had to do that for a while. It, it still happens. It, but after, you know, like 20 years of dealing with this, I can recognize when my mouth feels like it's full and I can, I'll tell myself to swallow. Um, so I don't usually have to carry around a washcloth anymore. Another aspect of this that I have developed since being diagnosed with MS is that I drool in my sleep. I never used to do that and um, now sometimes because I'm asleep and my subconscious will forget to swallow, I'll drool. Sometimes I can wake up and, you know, it's, it's just gross. My pillowcase will just be soaked. Or if it's, it's so disgusting. Matter of fact, it's embarrassing for me to share this with you, but it is my life. Now for eating, and I call it my swallower because I, I don't know what else, what else to call it. Um, when my swallower doesn't work right, it can cause a lot of problems with a lot of different foods. I seem to have the most problem with like liquids. Um, I'll swallow down the wrong tube. And depending on what it is I've swallowed wrong, I mean, I'll cough or, or you know, kind of choke or it can hurt, you know, <laughs> me Choking on water is always good for a few laughs. It's always fun and games until mom drowns at the dinner table. <laughs> Not really, but sometimes it feels like it's possible. The thing with swallowing is that it's supposed to be automatic. And so when it isn't or it malfunctions, it can really bring home the fact that that MS has turned your entire body against you. The difficulties that I have with breathing are that I sometimes will get the feeling that I can't catch my breath or that I can't get a good deep breath. It's hard to explain what it feels like or why it happens because it's not like it happens because I'm exercising or running or whatever. And although the feeling is similar it can happen when I'm just sitting or laying down, trying to have a conversation. All of a sudden, I'll feel like my breath is catching. You know, that feeling that you can't get a full breath. It just will come on all of a sudden and I'll feel like I can't get a breath and it can last for quite a while. You know, either several breaths or several minutes. I never know how long it's going to last. I just know that it takes extra work and to feel like I can get a deep breath. The fact that my body can make me feel that something is happening that isn't actually happening can be incredibly disconcerting sometimes. be breathing perfectly fine but get the feeling that I'm doing it wrong or you know not doing it fully or whatever or I don't know let me, let me try this um, sometimes my chest will tighten up um, I feel like there's a belt around my chest you know sometimes referred to as an MS hug if you remember my video about pain um, I talked about it in there and when that happens it can make me feel like I can't get a good breath I don't I hope that makes some sense it's really hard to explain it um, I can kind of show you what it feels like it's like I'll just be sitting around even just having a conversation and all of a sudden it'll be like I can't catch my breath. Um, it's 
I hope that made sense. That's really the best I can explain it. When your automatic systems don't work automatically like they're supposed to, you can really start to believe that your body hates you and is out to get you. Um, that's what MS does. Um, it turns your own body against you. And it can even affect things that are just supposed to happen automatically, like breathing and swallowing. I hope I made sense. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully you learned a little something about MS. Maybe even a little something about me. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like learning about MS from me, hit the subscribe button. I also I try to upload once a week. So if you want to know when I do, hit that notification bell. Remember, life doesn't stop just because you have to. Peace.